guys and welcome back to another video where today we're checking out one of the most amazing abandoned places that I've ever explored. And I know this gets thrown around a lot, but honestly today is incredible. Stay tuned to the very, very end. You do not want to miss a single second of this place. Trust me. Let's go. It's hilarious. No one's trying to fucking know you see, mate. I know. We just literally this morning, I said, fuck it, do you want to hit the hotel? We just went, no, I didn't bother getting up. I couldn't fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till I'm out of front, I'll ring you yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'll do that too. <coughs> Keep safe, man. And, uh, yeah, catch you later on, mate. Take care. Yeah, we'll give us a message. Yeah, we'll I promise you, man. I'll come. We'll Good come to see you again. Club, us free. And if you want to come, I'll yeah, no worries. You someone saying us free. Say <laughs> <laughs> so, well, mate. All right, take care, boys. See you later, mate. Right, guys, so we're in the place, and as you guys just saw, we've just bumped into the abandoned world explorer, David. So we're going to check out this place, and uh, I, I've already looked in here slightly, so I know, kind of know what to expect. But check this out. Where's the light switch? Because I know the lights work in here. Check that out. Man, <laughs> this is going to be a good explore. I am so excited for this. by the way if you hadn't noticed already by Neil and Ant who's disappeared somewhere <laughs> he's probably off trying to find the route the key for M6 <laughs> but uh, yeah so check out their channel it's linked in the description but yeah let's get this underway and have a look around it is incredible how on earth can you leave a place like this but yeah there are bits of decay which I will show you I mean check this out look at the uh, wallpaper peeling on there and up in the corner up there as well it's actually got all the balls <laughs> It's not missed any balls, all the balls are still there, which is pretty cool. Right, so we're back out on the main entrance way and just check this out. I don't even know what to say really. I'm guessing these must be the old owners, I'm, I can only assume because this is actually an old hotel. And just in front of those actually has some gorgeous chairs. We've only seen like a small portion of this so far and already I'm in awe. It's going to be amazing. Wow, get the torch out of this so you guys can actually see it. Look at this. Yeah. It is incredible, the whole room. It's, it's really weird, isn't it? Because with the dust covers as well, it looks almost creepy. Like they've just kind of left for a weekend. In this courtyard. Yeah, that looks amazing. Though. Absolutely gorgeous. So you can see as well where this is all grown. The weight of it is pushed down this white fencing. Mm -hmm. So again, anyone who thinks this is you know, not abandoned, look at that. That is damage <laughs> caused by time. I love how the nature's just taken over there completely. It looks incredible. Right, Nathan, after you. 
This is a giant door, isn't it? It's a massive door. I feel like I'm gonna like pull this open and Ant's gonna be just still the other side. Yeah, I've got the same feeling. <laughs> David Cripps has come back. Yeah, probably. Oh, wow. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting like another room, not like a staircase. Look at that. That's gorgeous. The staircase is porn, that is that. Yeah, isn't it? Little fireplace over there in the corner as well. That's really cool as well. Look at the copper top of it. Even the carpet. I mean, look at the carpet we're, st we're stood on. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? That is really, really nice. Oh, That's incredible. It just keeps getting better and better. Look at the chandeliers as well. Look at that in the middle of the table as well, the little uh, punch bowl. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's cool. actually quite cool, the little uh, cups on the side. Just guys, check that out. Right in the centre of the table, there's a like, little punch bowl, and it's still got all the cups and stuff on the side. So we've still got all the old uh, seasonings and stuff. We've got chilli infused oil there. There's pretty cool salt and pepper grinders there. And I'm guessing that's like balsamic vinegar. Yep, virgin olive oil. You can really just imagine like, you know, someone kind of serving tea in this. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. So check this out. Right. It does, doesn't it? I thought for a second it was actually like a head with a headdress <laughs> around it, but it's it's not. It's like a sort of China porcelain sort of thing. That's cool, isn't it? Still quite cool, though. Yeah. Creepy eyes, though. Yeah, it does. Check this out, we've just opened this case and there is literally a, a really old fashioned vintage shaving kit. Mate, this is posh writing. This has got a Liverpool stamp on it as well. Liverpool stamp and London stamp on it. 15th of May? Wow, look at that. 
scared the crap out of me. That literally just fell down in front of me. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. It's dead? No, it's a zombie spider. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. That's a zombie spider. What do you mean? That is a zombie spider. Can you see the little puffs? The it's little, moving. Yeah, can you see the little cloud puffs? Yeah. That is like a fungus, right? Which basically takes over the spider's body and eats it slowly. Ooh, it's like a parasite. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've... Look, there's one up there as well. See, they've got more in it, up there. There we go. Inside the spiders. I've learned so, today. All right, just keep looking. This kitchen's just so big. I can't get how huge it is. say a few words about today's sponsor, Through Night and their TS1 Survival Torch. Powered by a 3.7 volt battery that can be used not only to light the torch, but also as a mobile charging pack, which, oh my God, that is so, so useful. Especially for this particular explore that we're on right now, because while we're actually at the hotel, we did run out of most of the torches we had. Neil's phone died, Ant's phone died. Both of them use iPhones and I don't. So I didn't have an iPhone charger on me and I don't generally carry one. But this torch actually comes with something that would have been incredibly useful that day had we had it at that point which we didn't and that is a charging wire with every possible connection you could want in one wire not only does it have usb micro usb and usb c but it also has an iphone lightning cable as well which honestly would have been so so useful now this torch isn't really built like most of the other torches that I review. This is more of an emergency survival. It's not going to be lighting up any large areas in great detail because it is very small. In fact, it only ranges from about 4 to 100 lumens. But it can last up to 120 hours on one charge, which honestly is incredibly useful. It also has a magnetic base for mounting it to places, say you're using it on a car and looking under the bonnet, that'd be absolutely perfect for that. Also, it comes with a little hook thing which you can magnetically attach to the bottom and then hook it any way you like, whether that be in a tree, in a tent, anything. Like this is perfect for camping, honestly. The torch also has four main light modes, high, medium, low, and SOS. So you've got plenty of options to choose from. And with a price tag of just under 25 pounds, I think this is actually an incredible torch for the money, especially with that added bonus of being able to charge stuff off it as well as use it as a torch. So if you're interested in checking out Through Night's TS1 Survival Light, please check it out in the link in the description. But for now, let's get back onto the explore. So guys, we're upstairs now, um, but check this out. It's an old World War One helmet. And uh, also, I've just been pointing out because I didn't see it when I first walked through here. There's some muskets over here. Look at these. <laughs> Whoa. Now, I know these aren't real. I would just say that these are not real. You can tell the trigger's not even got any kind of, yeah, it won't move, it's literally molded. But they look damn cool. It's actually a wolf, like an upside down wolf on that one as well. That's quite cool. Right, I've no idea where to start, but honestly, check this out. This is going to be a massive, massive place. We're literally on the second floor, but there's another floor that goes up above us as well. So they literally, looks like someone's just got up and left and they'll be back again for work tomorrow. They've even left that hat on the desk. What the hell? I just don't know what to say. This is just crazy. How on earth have we found an abandoned place? I'd say we, it was actually Ant that found it. That um, is this untouched. Again, I mean, it looks it looks pristine. If I look through there, there's a bed through there, and there's a wardrobe there with some stuff in the wardrobe. But then I turn around, and I look up here, 
and look at the mold. Spiders, water damage. Oh my God, literally everything left in there. TV guide, and actually that's dated. There, the TV guide is dated. April 1996. Good wonder when I saw the Flintstones on the front of it, I was like, that's a bit old. <laughs> Whoa. All right guys, so we are just a few steps up from the main entrance, which is over there. Check out this door in a second, but I just wanted to sort of see what's over here. Oh my God, it's a piano, I didn't even see that. Let's check this one out. Oh wow. So these ones actually aren't covered, so you can see this in all its glory. Incredible. <laughs> While you were playing the piano and you back to us, he opened the door and I was like, because <laughs> I was sat there like that. I was like, <laughs> Go over how big it is. It's like I go around a corner and then there's another whole corridor. <laughs> this is a very nice room again, but I feel like because it's got weights and stuff like that and personal items, it feels like it might have been staff accommodation at some point. And yeah, look, there's still like mold medication and stuff here as well. Check these out as well. Above the beds, there's these like hanging drapes. They're really cool. I don't you often see those sorts of things anymore. I think purely because they tend to gather dust. And, you know, they're a guarantee if I bash that right now, dust would go everywhere. You like them though. Right, so let's check out this one. This I reckon probably is gonna be another staff accommodation. Looks like this is the staff area. Yeah, look, loads more more personal stuff. Some toys and stuff on the bed, look at that. Star Wars. Look at that. Little VR headset. What's this? Hype Energy. Whoa. That's some very, very fancy uh, energy drinks. This, honestly, this feels like whoever was staying here, the staff, you know, were literally given like an hour or so to get their stuff and go. And there was a, well, they couldn't just they could, couldn't take it because you know, it was too much. So weird. 
I'd love to know the story behind this, I really would. At the moment, all we kind of know is that the company was liquidated in 2019, but that's literally all we know. But this looks much more rushed. This is the room that Neil was in a second ago. This is apparently the honeymoon suite. I can see why. Look at the drapes on there. That's absolutely gorgeous. Giant bed. And it is very nice. I can just imagine how nice this would have been when it was properly open. So I was just about to leave. I thought I'd seen everything and uh, hadn't even seen the bathroom. Because again, generally, bathrooms aren't that interesting. But check this one out. <laughs> because this one definitely is. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. That is gorgeous. I'd love to have a path like that one day. But then again, look beyond and you see the uh, evidence of mold and grime and decay. Crazy. So that leads to room nine that you can't get in. This is number nine. What can we get into? Is it? Yeah. Can we get it? Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, fuck me sideways. You knew it was in there, didn't you? Yeah. Fuck what me. was that? Even though I knew it was in there. What? Even though I knew it was, it knew. was in one of these rooms, it's still scared. What was it? Crap out of me. This mannequin. <laughs> Oh, yes, this me, I opened the door and literally I looked around the corner because I hadn't been in this room because I didn't realise you could get in. How free is that, that though? Room. And I looked around the corner and I saw it and I went... <laughs> and my heart just started racing. <laughs> Right guys, so we're pretty much done in here. My main torch, my camera's just died. So I'm just going to meet the other guys who have already gone outside. And... Uh, Check out some other buildings outside and the outside bits, get some pictures and things. So guys, this is the uh, last bit of the building that's we're going to check out. We uh, kind of left it quite late, I'm well, tangled up in bushes now. Left it quite late because it's uh, very dark as you can see outside now. But this is kind of like the, uh, I don't know what you call it. Courtyard type thing, but it's got a roof on it, so it's not really a courtyard. But check out the greenery in here, it's literally been taken over. Mad. So just here, there was actually uh, a water feature by the looks of it. You can see by this, it looks, looks like some kind of water feature, but uh, look at the ivy that's grown over that. It's proper taken over. It's actually some old cranks as well, which would have opened the, uh, the roof, I'm guessing, at some point. Oh, it sounds like they still work as well. Because I can hear the opening. So guys, we've literally just come out of the hotel and uh, we found some carriages and we've just found something really cool inside one of them. So uh, we're gonna try and be careful because we are lit up like a Christmas tree now. It's dark with these torches. So let's go and have a look. Wow, Jesus. <laughs> as well yeah you can see how long this car has been left there and the seats are just covered in mold and there's cobwebs everywhere that is pretty damn cool isn't it all right I've got one more building to go into before we uh, head home so let's go check it out So this is the last building. Apparently this is a gym. So have a look 
background. Wow. <laughs> How weird. So this definitely gives off church vibes. Like it's an old converted church or something that's now been turned into like a gym. <laughs> Are you bouncing on that? <laughs> Such a weird little room, isn't it? Actually, it looks like it goes up even further. Look at the window above. How weird. So we can figure out way upstairs then. Of old frames, must have used those for the main house, I'm guessing. But yeah, does it turn on? Yeah, oh my god, it takes a while to warm up. Yeah, but we're just lighting the building up like a Christmas tree, aren't we? So. <laughs> god, they are <laughs> crap lights. <laughs> it's, only, it's only that part there. It's only this part that's fat. Yeah, we'll we'll save that oh, oh, that step moved when you walked on it. I'd stay, stay on the left hand side, Ant, seriously. Yeah. It's awful, it's already rotted, so we're going to try and stay. Got to be really careful. Seems that's pretty much it guys, just a little storage area. But yeah, very cool explore. Right guys, that is it for this amazing explore. I hope you have enjoyed. Please go check out Neil's channel and Anne's channel will be linked in the description. But we're gonna head back to the car. I'm absolutely knackered. We've been doing this for like hours and hours and hours. So I'll see you in the next video. See ya. Wrap it rag around my face, I pull my hoodie on. This ain't no time for rookies young. Got my octo camera on. So the wing can't be worried about no five or special ops.